It's quiet now, but there was plenty of dust up uh, happening both at the dais with all of the various Democratic senators trying to make their points, trying to move to adjourn uh, and arguing back and forth with the chairman, Senator Chuck Grassley, of course, a Republican. And he said, listen, I've got plenty of patience. We can be here Saturday. We can be here Sunday. We can do as long as this takes. I'm going to hear you out, let you hear what you have to say. But we're going to do this hearing. Uh, it, it became apparent after about an hour that his patience was wearing a bit thin as he wanted to wrap it up and actually get to the content of the hearing. But all through throughout that has been sprinkled numerous protests uh, out this skybox window where we are. The protesters are primarily right below where we are. Uh, and they stood up and said many different things. Uh, this is what democracy looks like. I'm going to die if you actually confirm Kavanaugh. Women will be forced to go to back alley abortions. There have been any number of different protests uh, today. And so it's been very feisty. And unlike any of the four other confirmation hearings that I've covered for the Supreme Court, it's funny to think that they didn't even have hearings as we know them today, really until 1955. That was the first time they started having hearings that were both public and that people sat down, the nominees, and actually answered questions. So it's a relatively new phenomenon in the history of the country, but today is definitely going to be one for the history books on many different levels. You know, Brett Kavanaugh has, has boiled down what he thinks it takes to be a good judge. He says, don't be a jerk. And there are a lot of people who think that's a word that could have been thrown around uh, here today. They're trying to play nice now, uh, and they're on lunch break, so we'll see how it goes from here on out.